Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany, Madam Malicious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight's world today. If y'all would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on today. So let's see what's going on with you all. Um, somebody is like, somebody is blocking your love life or trying to block your love life. They could even be talking shit about you. We got cock blocking here. Followed by talking shit. Okay. We have a love triangle here, okay? Somebody could want some type of love triangle with you. This is like a third party situation. This talks about multiple lovers or choices here. Dirt digging. Somebody could be digging up some type of dirt on you, okay? Looking for dirt on you or vice versa. Um So somebody could be cock blocking <laughs> your love life and talking shit about you. Maybe trying to make it seem like you and you know you're involved or it, or you have been involved in some type of love triangles or third party situations or you're the type to have multiple lovers or some shit that like that because somebody's like trying to do some type of dirt digging on you or whatever, but they're cock blocking. So I'm, I'm assuming that someone may be interested in you and someone else may know about it. And they're cock, they're like talking shit about you. Yeah, this is a stalker. Somebody is like stalking you, trying to dig up dirt on you, talking shit about you to someone who's possibly interested in you or something here. Somebody is stalking you, they're watching you, they're obsessed to fuck with you okay you unbothered okay you are completely unbothered honey you living your life you're doing your own thing and you're not even worried about what the hell is going on okay especially if you're anything like myself you single you sober you celibate and you just really don't give a damn okay now not everybody is living that lifestyle okay me personally i've been um single and celibate for like i don't know like nine and a half years something like that or what have you but like who the hell are you or who the hell is someone else to call themselves trying to cock black you to prevent you from being in a relationship with a certain person to prevent you from having love like it's your body is your choice you can fuck who you want to fuck you can do what the hell you want to do okay but somebody is like talking shit about you in some type of way Somebody could even be lying on you, saying that you are, like, in some type of love triangle, or some type of third-party situations, or either telling somebody that you have multiple lovers or something, and you could be, like, single. You're not even with anybody, okay? But, like, first of all, what you do in your life and with your body... It's none of nobody else's business, okay? Even if you was casually dating multiple people, that's your business. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people waste way too much time, spend way too much time worried about what the fuck somebody else is doing in their damn life with their damn body. You understand what I'm saying? Especially if you're not married. Like, I totally feel different about marriage, okay? Marriage is a bond that you have legally as well as... Um, you know spiritually in the terms of how the most high see marriage and different things like that okay if you're not married you're not obligated to no damn body period point blank especially if you are single okay but like i said it's your body is your choice you can do what the hell you want to do with your own damn body and your own damn life however and it's none of nobody's business 
okay what the hell you got going on but like somebody is cock blocking you so there's either somebody who is interested in you and someone else know it so they're talking shit to this person oh you shouldn't be with that person this person is like this, that, and a third. This person um, is involved in love triangles and third-party situations. This person has multiple lovers and shit. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Somebody's like literally hating on somebody else's love life. But with cock blocking here, like, I really feel like whoever you are, you could possibly be single. You may not even be with anybody, okay? Especially for somebody to be going through to these lengths to try to block somebody from coming into your life altogether. Okay. Somebody could even feel overwhelmed by somebody trying to, other people trying to block this person from you. But shit like that bothers me anyway. I have a problem with other people knowing what the hell is going on in other people's life. You understand what I'm saying? Like, why is it that other people know about somebody being attracted to you or liking you and you don't even know the damn person? You understand what I'm saying? To be cock blocking on you. You understand what I'm saying? Because you may not even know who the hell this person is. Yeah, somebody, but somebody is feeling guilty. Like by cock blocking you, by blocking your love life in some type of way. Somebody has literally been trying to prevent you from having love in your life. Yeah, I feel pain from the damage that I have caused. Like bullshit. This person been caused, uh, talking shit about you to cause confusion in your life, to cause confusion about you. This is the reason why this person is talking shit about you. Spirit, clarify this love triangle here. Somebody could even... Somebody who is interested in you could even want you... In some type of third party situation here they may even already be with somebody here okay we've got habits here okay so somebody could be talking shit and saying that you have a habit of having multiple lovers or being involved in third party situations okay spirit clarify dirt digging clarify dirt digging Somebody is, somebody is like, yeah, somebody is digging, trying to dig up some type of dirt on you, but you would have moved on to new chapters in your life here, but they're trying to cause you some type of damage in some type of way by looking for dirt on you. They're doing this in an effort to try to hurt you. I don't know, to try to shame you, blame you, put you on blast or some type of shit like that. Who is this? Who is this damn stalker? Who is this stalker spirit? Hold on, guys. Whoever this stalker is have a huge fucking ego. They full of vanity and pride. This is all arrogant, cocky, conceited, full of they self, full of shit ass type of individual here, okay? Yeah, I let my pride get in the way of our connection here. Whoever is stalking you, Whoever this eagle tickle school person is who is stalking you and obsessed with you, watching you, trying to dig up some type of dirt on you. Th this person could be trying to cock block you, block your love life with anybody else because you're not dealing with them. Yeah, you got unworthy at the bottom of the deck. You're a better person than I am.
you could be unbothered by the person. You may even know the person who is doing this, which is why you are unbothered by this person trying to cock block you, okay? Because I doubt very seriously they really doing much, okay? Because they're not keeping you from having sex with anybody that you want to have sex with or being in a relationship with any damn body that you want to be in a relationship with. That's why I understand people who do shit like love spells and sex magic and shit. That shit is only going to backfire on you, okay? Yeah. But this person is feeling guilty for cock blocking you, okay? But they did this to cause burdens and hardships and problematic situations in your life here, okay? But now they may be faced with all this responsibility and overwhelm and and, 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 and and being burdened by what they've been doing to you here. Spirit clarify talking shit and confusion. So we got an eight of wands here. This person been spreading a lot of gossip, rumors, and slander about you. Okay, to cause confusion here. This person has sent out, out all type of, you know, been talking to people, messaging people, texting people, uh, gossiping about you in all types of ways here. Okay, because the Eight of Wands is a communications card. Okay, it's swift, fast, messages, news, information, or communication. Love triangle. But whoever this person is, if there is someone in particular, that this stalker of yours is cock blocking you from being with or having that person is feeling burdened by the fact that other people are working to keep y'all apart this could be a queen of pentacles a capricorn taurus or virgo feminine individual who is stalking you who is obsessed with you who's watching you this person is full of ego, vanity, and pride. They're cocky, they're arrogant, they're conceited. So what's this love triangle in habits here? This person is trying to dig up some type of dirt on you to cause damage in your life, to cause a tower moment here, to cause chaos and tragedy, a sudden upheaval in your life here complete disaster this person could now be feeling burdened by the gossip the rumors the slander that they cause Spirit, what else is going on here? Clarify this love triangle in habits here. I'm seeing the nine of cups here. Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, Three of Cups. Somebody may be trying to like talk about your past. In some way, shape, form, or fashion with this love triangle and habits here. A past is not a person's present, okay? And either way it go, like I said, okay? If you an adult and a person you're dealing with an adult, you not married, you can do what the hell you want to do. Nobody else has the right to, to dictate who in the hell you can and can't the fuck be with. It's nobody else's business. Who you sucking, who you fucking, what's going on in your damn life. That's what's wrong with people. They stay worried about what the fuck somebody else is doing. Ain't no way in hell I would sit around here all damn day worried about who the hell somebody else is fucking. I don't care. That's your business. You understand what I'm saying? Sure, what is this love triangle shit about?
I'm seeing a four of wands here. Somebody could have, somebody could have been, somebody could have spread some type of rumors about you being with somebody. The four of wands is like a commitment card. It's like a marriage card. It's a family card. So either, either, either this queen of pentacles spread some type of rumors about you sleeping with a married man or either saying that you cheated in your marriage if you've been married before or something here. But now this person is, this person been cock blocking you, but now they're feeling guilty in their burdens by what they have been doing to you, okay? All the shit that they've been talking, all the gossip, all the rumors that they've spread was to cause confusion or has caused some type of confusion because of all this, I'm like it. It seemed like this person like told a lot of people here because the eight of wands is swift fast communication going back and forth amongst you may maybe several different individuals here. Something has to do with a serious committed relationship, a marriage, or some shit like that. But somebody, this person has been steady with dirt digging here and damage here. Somebody could just be like guesstimating some shit. Somebody don't have no fucking proof of something. If, if somebody is digging for dirt, you know what I'm saying? If you've seen something, it's different than if you've seen something with you was there or something. You understand what I'm saying? And seen something. You wouldn't need to dig for no dirt. You understand what I'm saying? If you are dirt digging, this is you sneaking and creeping around trying to find some type of information on somebody to cause some type of damage into their life, to cause a tower moment in their life. This motherfucker is obsessed. They're stalking you. They're watching you. They're obsessed with you. They're egotistical. This person let their pride get in the way. You could have had, this could have been somebody that you had a connection with before. This could even be an ex of yours. This is crazy. Is there any other messages I need to share with the collective as it relates to the situation? We got the Nine of Swords here. So somebody is feeling haunted and taunted right now. Somebody's having some sleepless nights. Somebody, um, bye gang stalker. Somebody um, is, excuse me guys, I <laughs> I should have paused the darn thing, but I, I, I flip real quick, okay? Cause y'all, it's been one of them days. I'm sitting outside, okay? And my neighbor over here on this side, this mother, these gang stalkers, they do certain shit to fuck with you on purpose. This motherfucker just walked outside and he threw something away, but he, I know y'all heard the noise. He slammed the trash, the, the lid to the trash down, um, like really loud, okay? It's noise harassment, okay? And when you see motherfuckers do that and you, and they know that you can see, to hear you, you know, you know the sound of certain shit or they, you sitting somewhere where you can see them and shit. They're supposed to be a subliminal for like trash, okay? Like, bitch, if you simply trying to, you know, like say it to my face, bitch, we, we live right here together. Like, it's whatever. Okay? Because it's one of them motherfucking days. They want me to pop off. They want the old Tiffany so motherfucking bad. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't fuck with nobody. I don't insert myself in nobody else's fucking life, bitch. But I'm not going to be held responsible for my actions when you are fucking with me on purpose. Because anybody can get it. I walked out on my porch today. Shit I had on my porch covered up and shit. Y'all, it sprawled out all over. Then they sent these little crackhead ass hoes that they got in the neighborhood to come up on my goddamn porch. Shuffling through shit, trying to steal shit off my fucking porch, y'all. I have done so much for this community. I done fed these people for free. I have given away free clothes, free shoes, all kinds of shit to these motherfuckers. And this is the whole ass shit y'all do. But you too bitch of a coward to say some shit to my face. You understand what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm not the one. Y'all would get y'all ass drugged. 
Yeah, I'm Martin Luther King and this bitch. Please come for me. Because it's one of them motherfucking days. Nine of Swords. Whoever this cock-blocking ass bitch is, is feeling guilty. The burdens that they tried to cause you, now they dealing with them. Okay? They're in mental conflict. They're stressed. They're worried. They're depressed. They're dealing with anxiety, some sleepless nights, or some type of shit, or what have you. They wanted to cause you these problems. They wanted to cause you to be burdened. They wanted to cause you mental conflict. Okay? But now they are faced with such a thing. Because of all the evil, wicked shit they've been doing to you. Yeah, this person been talking cash money shit about you to cause confusion. Spreading all kind of gossip and rumors and slanders pertaining to some type of lover situation here. If this is somebody that you was in a relationship with you before, or if you was in a relationship with this person before, this person been talking shit about you in the relationship that y'all were in. Okay, if you um, or this person's been spreading gossip and rumors about your lovers and your connections and interactions and who you have been involved with intimately here. Spirit, what else is going on? Bitch made ass bastard. Child been waiting for years. Okay, it's been like nine years. From, from from when I first found out with these motherfuckers. I've been waiting all my life for such a time as this. I've been waiting nine motherfucking years being gang stalked and targeted and gaslit and, and, and gang stalked and invaded and violated every motherfucking day. I've been waiting on these bitches to come say something to me. Face the motherfucking face. I done confronted some of these bitches. You understand what I'm saying? I will contact you. These bitches, they, they don't have shit to say. They don't have shit to say then. But from a distance, you can do all your little hand signs and fucking symbolisms and, and, and all this old ho shit they fucking do. They have your gang stalkers walk by playing pretend like they on the phone and shit with the cameras pointing towards you, talking loud enough for you to hear, saying some old subliminal ass shit that's supposed to make you feel some type of way, going around doing your noise harass. I want them bitches to say something to me. Please. Let's set it off in this motherfucker. I've been waiting nine years on you bitches. Y'all not gonna keep fucking with me. Y'all chose the way wrong motherfucker to target. And I'm tired of this shit. This repetitive ass bullshit. It's been nine years. The fuck get over it, bitch. It's billions of people in the fucking world. Y'all fucking with me every goddamn day. But you can come see me about that any motherfucking day, bitch, because I ain't scared. Fair, what else is going on here? Excuse my language one time. Excuse my language. Somebody could have, this person could have made it seem like you abandoned, neglected, or, uh, 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 this person could have made it seem like you abandoned or neglected a relationship or a marriage for a love triangle for a third party situation or some shit like that. Spirit, what else is going on here? Yeah. But that nothing could be further from the goddamn truth here. Yeah, the world here. This person is dirt digging to cause some type of damage to your life, to cause some type of chaos and tragedy, some type of major fucking tower moment, okay? To bring about some type of completion or ending to your life here. This motherfucker is obsessed. They're obsessed with you. So we're clarify stalker, ego, queen of pentacles. Whoever this bitch is, this person is doing something for money. Somebody has paid this person to do this. Yeah. Ten of swords. This person has ten of swords you. They have betrayed you. Neglected you. Abandoned you. Backstabbed you. 
sabotage you trying to ruin you here spirit is saying now they juggling and struggling they juggling multiple lovers they juggling multiple lovers and money they got themselves but stalking you watching you tracking you harassing you obsessed with you talking shit the fuck about you but you juggling and motherfucking struggling this is crazy Spirit, what else is going on here? Whoever this person is, somebody got an addiction. Somebody is a functioning addict. Whoever this person is that's been cock blocking you has an addiction. They are functioning addict. Spirit is saying. I'm seeing alternate uh, alternative sexuality, polygamous or uh, uh, asexual, sexual minority, Casanova. The fuck? So this person could be talking shit, maybe about your sexuality in some type of way. could have even tried to get you in trouble with the law in some type of way what Claire, what else is going on what is this So we have swindler here. This person spreads some type of gossip, rumors, and lies about your sexuality. They made you out to be a swindler or a perpetrator. They tried to expose you in some type of way. What the hell? It's very dirt digging. This person, wow. This person with murder being, this person tried to set you up to be murdered? Tried to cause you to commit suicide? This is murder, uh, murder, murdered, suicide, murderer, witness. What in the fuck? This person tried to do shit to cause your death. I'm seeing sexual assault here. It says victim. Bystander. Perpetrator. Witness. This is sitting here on dirt digging damage. This motherfucker's trying to make it seem like you sexually assaulted somebody? Get the fuck out of here. This, this, this stalker wanted you murdered, tried to set you up to be sacrificed in some type of way. Somebody paid this person some money. Whoever this earth sign individual is, somebody paid this person some money to try to set you up like this, to try to destroy you. Look at this, and this person is an earth sign. This says earth disaster. That's what the card is saying. loss of loved one wow this is crazy y'all this is seriously crazy whether this is somebody you used to be in a relationship with as like an ex or something like that or, or this is a family member or this is somebody who knows you personally 
This person has been cock blocking, talking shit, spreading gossip, rumors, and lies, trying to block your love life. Because of some type of love triangle, or accusing you of some type of love triangle, or something like that. They've been, but they've been like dirt digging, like trying to dig up dirt on you and stalking you. Now this person is feeling guilty for all the confusion that they have caused. This person has bad habits themselves. This person is in love triangles. This person also has some type of addiction of some kind. Yet they try to cause damage to you. Or they caused a lot of damage because of their fucking ego spirit is saying. They wanted to cause you burdens and hardships and have you in mental conflict. Because of all the rumors that they spread about you, your love life, your sexuality and shit. This person even tried to set you up. Like on a case, like to try to get you, like this person could have lied to authorities about you, made it seem like you sexually assaulted someone. If this is somebody that you used to be with, they could have made it seem like you neglected or uh, uh, abandoned the marriage or the relationship or the commitment because of a love triangle. But this person been digging for dirt to cause damage in your life. This person could have even went to the authorities to try to accuse you of sexual assault in some type of way to cause a disaster to your life. This, this person wants you to destroy you. To bring about some type of ending to you here. This person even tried to set you up to be like with, with the queen of pentacles sitting here with the ten of swords. This person stabbed you in your back multiple times with possibly other people. This person betrayed you, sabotaged you, tried to ruin you, tried to end you, tried to cause your death here. This person may even be murdered because of what they did to you. This person has an addiction, though. They could have even said that you have an addiction. With this addiction, alternate, uh, alternate, um... Yeah, alternate se uh, sexuality, swindler, sexual assault, murder. What? This bitch crazy. Whoever the fuck this is. But this is going to come back on this person tenfold, okay? Two of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. This is the reason why this person juggling and struggling. They could have tried to have you in a, a position to be juggling and struggling, trying to find balance like this or what have you here. Yeah. Look at this. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords with the Magician. This person is now juggling and struggling because they are a liar, a cheater, a thief, a manipulator, a con artist has been sneaking and creeping around trying to get away with something. They're full of deception lies, manipulations, and they've been doing some type of witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo with this magician card being here as well here. They've been doing some type of magic to attack a water sign child who's in hermit mode to herself by herself or you're a water sign individual here. There could even be a king of cups that's involved in this. Whoever this king of cups, this water sign masculine, is somebody from your past. These, this is this is sick. This is sick. These people are crazy. This is what's going on here, though, y'all. This is what's going on. There could even be a king of swords that's involved here. This king of swords is very defensive in some type of way. They're very defensive over some type of partnership or relationship or something here. This could be who they have been trying to cock block and keep you from being with or around here. To keep you stuck and, 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 and trapped and stagnant here. But then too, this king of swords, they... Mm -mm. 
this is this is fucked up, y'all. That's what's going on here. Somebody has like a disgruntled ass fucking ex that's been stalking them, cock blocking your love life, talking shit about you, spreading rumors about you. Talking about your sexuality, love triangles, third-party situations, trying to dig dirt up on you to, like, sabotage you and ruin you forever. And this bitch has, like, been plotting and planning and scheming to try to sacrifice you, to take you out, to murder you. Maybe because you don't want to be with them any goddamn more. But obviously, this person wasn't a good person to fucking begin with. This person is crazy. They out their mind. Yeah, because now they're feeling guilty for causing this confusion. They allowed their habits, their addictions to influence them to try to cause you damage, okay, because of their damn ego. Mm -mm. That's what's going on here, y'all. So I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity. If your love life, if your sex life um, has been like sabotaged, ruined, your life been, you know, ruined in any type of way, it's whoever this person is and whoever they've been teamed up and linked up and working with here. This motherfucker here, even they even tried to do some shit to try to set you up on a fucking crime. This is crazy. This is motherfucking crazy. That's what's going on here, y'all. Please excuse the interruptions, honey. Please excuse me. Popping off real quick, honey. Because these people be pissing me off. Okay? But I'm telling you, anybody can get it today. Because I am completely the fuck draw. I'm a lover. I'm a giver. I give so much to people, to my community. Y'all, y'all just don't understand. I've given so much stuff away for free. It was a person popping up at my house the other fucking day. Needed a pair of shoes. I gave this bitch a pair of shoes for fucking free. Okay? And she wanted these crackhead hall prostitute bitches because when I was doing the yard sale, I was giving a lot of stuff away for free. And I put up a sign, you know, anybody who was homeless or in need of clothes or anything like that, they could get at least one outfit or a pair of shoes for free or whatever. I gave away all the, like, the kid stuff, kid shoes and clothes and stuff away for free for people who need to help with their children and different things like that. I've given away so much stuff for free. Throughout the holidays and different things like that or whatever, I put food and snacks and drinks and shit out there for free for people in every fucking thing. And I caught this bitch on my camera multiple fucking times, creeping up on my porch in the wee hours of the morning and shit, searching through shit, looking through shit, on crackhead shit, okay? But bitch, I gave you shit for fucking free. I know this whole so I put signs up and shit, don't come up on my porch taking shit. Especially when I have given you shit. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm a nice person. I'm a sweet person. I don't insert myself in nobody's life. And I don't fuck with no goddamn body. But bitch, I ain't gonna be held responsible for my motherfucking actions. Should I have to snap, crack, and pop on your ass? Molly wipe your ass and drag your ass down the motherfucking street about you fucking with me. See, that's what people love to do. They love to touch, test you and fuck with you and then as soon as you snap crack and motherfucking pop everybody out with their motherfucking cameras and watching you and see see i told her that person had a temple see they, you know what i'm saying to try to make you out to be a bad person but you fucked with me and you think i don't have a right to stand up for myself to defend myself or any motherfucking thing like that bitch fuck you and you can tell whoever the fuck you want to tell because i don't care nothing about it because i don't fuck with no damn body and I let a whole lot of shit build up before I fucking pop off. But y'all want the old Tiffany so motherfucking bad. So goddamn bad. But you can get it today. You can fucking get it today. And I'll repent for it later. I have a conversation with God about it later. Because y'all done played too many motherfucking games. You take this, what these bitches do. They take your kindness for motherfucking weakness and shit. And they keep on texting you. You keep on fucking trying you, okay? Keep on letting them, them, them satanic motherfucking powers they be. Fool y'all around this bitch. Recruit y'all asses to get straight fucked up around this bitch, okay? Keep on letting them make a fool of you. And I'm going to show you better than I can fucking tell you. Let me cleanse this energy, y'all. Let me 
Because, see, the real Sabbath was yesterday. You can still get your ass beat today. In the name of God. By playing with me. And I ain't running, I ain't hiding. I call the folks and tell them to come get your stinking ass body up off my goddamn porch, out my yard. About you playing with me. I don't know where you live. But where I live, when a person comes to your goddamn house, your private, personal space, doing things to harm you, you got the right to defend your damn self. I don't know what the laws is in your damn state, but you better learn the goddamn laws because you're going to get your ass fucked with. And you don't know what the fuck I got. But I'll smooth lay your ass down by playing with me. Keep allowing them satanic powers that motherfucking be trick y'all motherfucking ass into thinking somebody assisted, thinking somebody a goddamn punk. If you want to. I don't fuck with nobody, and I don't want nobody fucking with me. I am love. And I give a whole lot of me and what I have a way for motherfucking free to help and heal others. But you're not going to take my kindness from motherfucking weakness, okay? But that's what the fuck these people do. They fuck with you and they fuck with you and they fuck with you. And then as soon as you fucking snap, crack, and pop, they make it seem like you the goddamn prop. Your smooth make it seem like I'm the one that did you the motherfuck wrong. Should I go the fuck off as if the, I don't have the right to defend and protect myself. Y'all got the wrong one and the right one at the same goddamn time. Because I can show you better than I can tell you. Pure point blank. I thank y'all for listening and for watching. If you'll be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly appreciated. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all take care of your baby sonny remember this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there's wickedness in high places and there's evil just lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well and considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you honey keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.